This week's Parsha is Ki Tise. This is the Parsha of the Golden Calf. The worst sin that Israel has ever committed, according to our holy tradition. So everybody knows, you know, they had made the Golden Calf. God was upset. Moses uh, um, came down and threw the tablets, etc. But I want to talk about a really interesting couple of verses. God says, Now therefore let me alone that my anger may burn hot against them and I may consume them and I will make of you, Moses, a great nation. Here it is. Everything that Moses could ever have wanted. That no longer is he going to be uh, um, having to carry this people, this stiff-necked people, all of these things, etc., etc. He's going to be able to start a whole new people based on his lineage. He's going to be the new Abraham. Sounds good. What's Moses do? Moses shows us leadership. Because the next verse is, Moses pleaded with the Lord his God and said, Lord, why does your anger burn hot against your people whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and a mighty hand? He goes on to say, remember Abraham, Isaac, and, and Israel, your servants, to whom you swore by your own self. And God repented of the negativity which he spoke to do to the people. How powerful is that? It is so powerful that God could change God's mind because of the pleading of Moses. Now, in some ways, it sets up a bad paradigm because from that people have thought, oh, if I'm good enough, if I plead or pray hard enough, everything will change. God is going to make everything good. It's not really what it's saying. It's a lesson for us. It's a lesson for us in leadership. It's a letter, lesson for us in self-leadership as well. God's the big boss, the chief has an idea. It's a bad idea. Moses, who's his second in command, says, bad idea, God. Not right. Not okay. So Moses had enough self-leadership to be able to say to God, what you're talking about isn't right. He had enough strength and he was imbued with wisdom and with spirit. And he was really living his divine image as a reflection to God. To say, not okay. What's that mean for us? It means that when we're in charge, when we're a parent, when we're uh, an employer, when we're a supervisor, when we're a manager, we have to be able to hear the call of the people that work for us, that live with us. We have to be able to change our minds and our actions. We have to repent. We have to be able to say, you're more right than me. As somebody who's not the boss, not the big boss, we have to have the self-leadership and the courage to say, I'm not going to stand idly by the blood of my brother. I'm not going to stand by while somebody, even though they have the power, is going to use the power unwisely and unjustly. This week, I beg of you to look inside yourself and see where you need where and when you need to repent and where and when you need to stand up and speak. We are not powerless. I know it goes and flies in the face of the 12 steps. I'm powerless over alcohol once I take a drink. I'm not powerless to say no to alcohol. I'm not powerless to say no to the people in power, it's not right. 
We're a, a tradition. We're a people who are descendants of the prophets. We're descendants of Moses, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All who said to God, no, it's not right. How much the more so should we be able to do it with ourselves and with each other? Shabbat Shalom.